Hello students, this is Pathology Chapter 9, Part 2. Patients who are being treatment planned for radiation therapy should have an oral evaluation before therapy of the head and neck. Prior to therapy, potential sources of oral infection and teeth with a questionable prognosis should be removed. The hygienist can also help the patient by giving them fluoride applications, patient education, and frequent follow-up appointments for hygiene maintenance. Drugs used for cancer chemotherapy affect the basal cells of the epithelium. Mucositis and oral ulcerations are common complications. A decrease in all blood cells may occur. Lower RBC counts can lead to anemia. Lower WBC counts can lead to infection. Lowered platelets can lead to bleeding problems. Effects of drugs on the oral cavity. Blood pressure drugs, anti-anxiety medications, antipsychotic medications, and antihistamines can cause xerostomia. Xerostomia then can cause oral candidiasis and dental caries. Prednisone suppresses the immune system and can lead to candidiasis and oral infections. Antibiotics may increase the risk of candidiasis. Ingestion of tetracycline during tooth development can cause tooth discolorations. Phenytoin or dilatin, nephetipine or procardia, and cyclosporin can cause gingival enlargement. Osteonecrosis is a complication associated with bisphosphonate therapy. You can see with the image on the right, the necrotic bone is eroding through the mucosa in the oral cavity. This concludes Pathology, Chapter 9, Part 2.